as the sun sinks slowly in the west. Here we find our intrepid dog begging to go home. Home? Going home? We've been here playing around most of the evening. Uh, got the heater core going on that one. And uh, now it has a little bit of heat in it. Continuing stretching the top on the warm days. It was 55 degrees today, not now, but anyway, still t-shirt weather. It's going to be hard to get me out of my t-shirt, or to get me to put something else on over my t-shirt. But I left my snap installation tool somewhere else, and I can't find it. So, we'll get another one, or I'll make one. And we've been draining the juices out of Harold here. Make sure I got this. Yeah, that's wide. Been draining the juices out of Harold. I reckon the next thing to do is get the dirt off of it and pull it out of there. Lip it and strip it and get me some bearings and stuff in it. I've been uh, looking it over some the last hour. While I was underneath of it and uh, draining it and looking it over. Mr. Peak's been under one under his Ford probably just a day or two but the way he staggers his videos it seems like he's been under it a week and good for him. Here is the underneath of the little herald. It's got some fuzzies right there. It's going to have to be knocked out and fixed in the door. And uh, the rails look pretty good outside of them being bent. This one's bent from probably up and down the road, some big rocks. And uh, I don't know if you can see anything under here. But that's got a ventilated floorboard on the passenger side. And it's got a semi-ventilated one here. If it wasn't for this Texas license plate, we could probably crawl through and be inside just a little bit. It's had a lick right here against the bolt. I guess that's for the seat. I don't know. It's got to be, it's got to have hurt something in there. I haven't looked yet. But, moving right along, my gully. Got the transcription bledded and the oil pan bledded. So, back here where the light is. Can I back up here? Uh, these trailing arms, or whatever you want to call them, are curved the same amount on both sides. And I don't know if that's an accident or how they adjusted it. But some of y'all tell me, I'm sure Scott Best and them boys will know him mostly. But the frame still got a little red paint on it in some other places. Fairly good. Lots better than when I used to work on Crosley's. So well, I still do, but let's see if I can get the torch here and do some stuff. There's the rear mount. It looks pretty naughty. That's under the gas tank. And the one you can see from above is this one. It's pretty naughty. That's something you can't fix with it on the frame. Or I don't think so. And the back, the back uh, valance here is pretty keggy. 
I don't know. I wish I could find a new one. I guess I can, but they come from England. And everything looks lovely. That's continued to precipitate. Holes in the thing, and it's just a lovely thing. I can't wait. I'm excited. You always want to be deep in, deep underneath the car when you're jack standing. It's just here that shows you how rigid the the frame is. It only has three of them holding the thing off my self. But anyway, it's got some rusty stuff, but I don't find any holes in the in the frame here. The uh, Of course, the lines are getting replaced, and the hoses and everything will come off is getting replaced. But these outside outrigger things, whatever, pretty thin. I guess to make them any thicker would be a waste of metal. But uh, for the most part, this stuff's boxed in really good and strong. That gone light. Urgh. But anyway, it's cute little stuff. Look at the little wheel studs. Hmm. Cute little car. It's a lovely little little doozy. Let's see what we can do in here. This might be a dead burn light. And now, as Philippe enters into the cabin, we will see what he can see. Watch out for the dreaded rust anemone. One. One bite of the rusted enemy, and you will turn into a crazy car man. There is the, the bottom of the dash. I can see it is going to be very much a pleasurable repair. Going into the cave blindfolded, not knowing what the camera is catching because I'm getting attacked by the rust volume, rust monster. But there is uh, what is left of the little creature. Alright, so much for being an idiot. Let's do... <laughs>